So I think I spoke a little too soon in one of my recent videos stating that the Beats Studio Buds were the best wireless headphones that you could buy at this time. I've been using these Beats Fit Pro for the last couple of months and your boy has changed his mind. In today's video, you're gonna get my honest review on Apple's recent Beats Fit Pro headphones and why I think they are the ultimate all around earbuds that you can buy this year. So starting off with the design and physical features of the Beats Fit Pro, the Fit Pro earbuds have a new ear tip design where the flexible stem fits inside your ear versus the over ear design of the original Power Beats Pro released in 2019. But what I love the most about this approach is that it helps to keep the earbuds securely in your ear when you're working out or moving around. These headphones are also IPX4 sweat and water water resistant, so you can be pretty confident that they will be durable and reliable when you're working out or caught in the rain. In the box, Apple also includes this more compact case that makes it a bit more portable than the Powerbeats Pro, which for me personally always felt a little bit too awkward to put in my pocket. These on the other hand, solid. The case also has a USB-C port which gives the Beats Fit Pro up to 24 hours of battery life and also allows for fast fuel charging which lets you get up to around an hour of playback and five minutes when the battery is low. Now the Beats Fit Pro have a physical onboard multifunction button on each earbud which allows you to control your music, answer your calls, and also activate your phone's voice assistant. Which seems pretty useful but there are a few minor things that I noticed that I didn't really like about this design. For example, whenever I wear a beanie over my ears I would either pop pause my music or end a call even though I didn't want to. And it also just isn't that convenient that you can't adjust the volume as you either have to change it with your physical phone or sacrifice the option to activate transparency mode with the multifunction button. It would just be nice to have a few physical up and down buttons similar to the Powerbeats Pro to control the volume. Now moving to the real important factor of actual sound quality, I'll admit the quality on these earbuds are great, definitely up there in clarity and range similar to the popular AirPods Pro. They have spatial audio where they use dynamic head tracking and gyroscopes and accelerometers to adjust the sound as you turn and move your head. This really helps to immerse you when you're listening to music, movies, and video games. Now the Beats Fit Pro also have pretty good noise cancellation capabilities where I could still hear my music or podcast when sitting on the subway when commuting to work. The transparency mode also works pretty well, allowing me to hear somebody who's trying to get my attention for a brief conversation. Regarding phone call quality, Apple states that the Beats Fit Pro have a built-in microphone with wind reduction for elevated voice clarity, but I would personally say that it's around average to slightly above average. In my experience, sometimes I got perfect call quality that perfectly captures my voice, and other times, people on the other end of the phone call would say that it picks up a lot of background noise depending on what's going on around me. This could be different from the AirPods Pro given that the mic on those are at the bottom of the stem, which is closer in proximity to the mouth, while the Beats Fit Pro actually have it more near the ear, which is further from the mouth. Lastly, and what I think makes the Beats Fit Pro better than the Beats Studio Buds is the latest H1 chip. The H1 chip allows for auto switching between your different Apple devices and also allows for audio sharing with someone who also has headphones with the H1 chip. It lets you use my favorite feature of auto pause when you take the earbuds out of your ear and the music stops. You can also activate Hey Siri hands free and also locate your earbuds in the Find My app if they happen to get lost. And what I think is really, really cool is the fact that Apple opened up the Beats Fit Pro to work with Android out of the box by providing a Beats app that allows you to access additional features such as one touch pairing, customized controls, firmware updates, and a fit test to help you get the best sound and fit out of your earbuds. And what you've probably finally been waiting for, are these good for fitness purposes? Well, when you get sweat and water resistance, a secure wingtip design to stay in your ear, noise cancellation to block out the outside noise, and a compact case that is easy to toss in your gym bag or your zipped pocket when going cycling, to me that's just... I mean, come on, fit is literally in the name. There is no doubt in my mind that the Beats Fit Pro are the best overall fitness earbuds that you can buy right now. They're portable, have great sound quality, and honestly, they've replaced all my other earbuds. They're totally worth the $200 price tag, which is actually $50 cheaper than the original AirPods Pro, and they come in four different colors that you could choose from. If you're not convinced and would rather stick with the Beats Studio Buds, feel free to watch my review right here. And if you wanna check out my latest wellness tech videos, click here. If you found this video helpful, go ahead, compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, stay healthy and embrace the hype. Woo!